Hello, this is Napalm, and I'm back, and we're gonna continue off on the game Broken Age. Alright, so, we're playing as Vela, and we just escaped, uh, hell, we escaped that Mothgra, whatever that name is, and, yeah. We're gonna find out where the hell are we, and it's pretty, pretty creepy, I gotta say. I think I need to use a ladder to get up there. Alright. Hey, thanks for saving my life back there. Sorry I said you were part vulture. Well, he doesn't look that pleased to see you. And we don't have anything left, so yeah, might as well get out of here. Looks like there's some sort of small tree at the end of this path. You a friend of Jesse's? Whoa, oh my god, I'm sinking! Wow, okay, so don't step on the clouds. No, okay, I gotta keep moving then. Otherwise, I'll sink. Don't take this personally, bird, but I gotta get out of here. Alright, um, step on the planks. Looks like I should go that direction for more clouds. Better not touch those. I don't want to make these giant birds angry at me. Alright. Good birdie. Looks like something's going on down this ladder. Alright, I'm just looking at everything before I talk to those, those guys. I don't want to make these giant birds angry at oh, me. Oh god, what the hell? Alright, talk to this bird. Oh, I can't go down there, there's a hole, no wonder. Don't take this personally, bird, but I gotta get out of here. Hmm, maybe this sign is only for birds. Ah, cloud shoot, that's just what I need, actually. Well, let's talk to these guys first, actually. No, 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 no. Alright, let's talk to the guy. He's trying to hit on us. Hi, my name is Bella. What's yours? I am Walt Er. Walter? Walt Er. With an apostrophe? We admire lightness in all things. No extra baggage, no extra letters. I'm Chit. Chit. I don't know what that would be short for. Who are you guys? We're the preeners, of course. We take care of the nests and keep stuff floating. Super important. Can you guys help me? I need to get back to sugar bunting right away. You're from sugar bunting? So that's why you smell like frosting. What's the big rush? Stay here and float a while. I just escaped the Maiden's Feast, and now Mog Chathra is going to eat the town. You what? Why would you ever run away from such an honor? Such a joyous occasion. Are you guys... Hopefully the upcoming ceremonies in Shell Mound go more smoothly. We just had our Maiden's Feast yesterday. It was awesome! Brother Lightbeard was very pleased. Good luck topping that one, <laughs> Smell Mound. Is everyone here just insane? Christ. Okay, so it's Mog Chathra. That's what its name is. Well, I just thought maybe we could fight Mog Chathra instead of feeding it. Oh, that sounds horrible. Why would anyone want to hurt such a noble, endangered creature? Poor Mog Chathra! Um... I need to get to Mog Chathra, quick. Good idea. If you sacrifice yourself to Mog Chathra, that might set things right. He's very picky, though. And you'd have to compete with the other maidens of Shell Mound. Hmm. Did you say that the next Maiden's Feast was in Shell Mound? Yes. It's so sad. I mean, they're always trying to compete with us, but... Oh, please. Shell Mound girls smell like old seaweed. How do I get to Shell Mound? Um, follow the stink? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go back to talking about Mariloft. I knew this magical place would win you over eventually. Who's Jessie? That big blue oligol you rode in on. Oh, really? I guess I owe her a thank you. Actually, take my advice. Stay away. 
Why shouldn't I talk to Jessie? Well, one of her eggs went missing when she was out. She's totally freaking out. Yes, I don't think the golden egg substitute we put in her nest is fooling her. Poor Jessie. Where did her egg go? It's against the Greener Code to point fingers. But Gus was on cleaning duty. And it wouldn't be the first time that oaf fell short. Shh, son. Remember what Brother Lightbeard said. Who speaks, cause leaks. Hmm. Any idea where I can find Jesse's egg? If Gus really did take it, well, he is a little dense, mentally and physically. <laughs> he probably fell through the clouds and went splat in the forest. Can you tell me about Brother Lightbeard? Happy to. Harmony Lightbeard is a brilliant philosopher, spiritualist, and buoyancy instructor. We have followed Brother Lightbeard up to the clouds to learn about his philosophy of lightness. Dad gave him all our money. Quiet, chit. Oh, yeah. It's a surprise for Mom's birthday. Huh. Don't the birds tend the nests? Well, these birds are not exactly model homemakers. Left to their own devices, they'll lay too many eggs or get too fat. And then, poof, they'll sink right through the clouds. Don't blow, stay afloat. How are we floating on these clouds anyway? Volume. No, son. Try again. Jeez, um, okay. Uh, circumference? Area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all about surface area. Pounds per square inch. Well, I'll see you two later. Farewell. Stick to the paths. Stay on the twigs or you'll eat a pig. No freestyling, Chit. Sorry, Pop. <laughs> All right, well, that was pleasant. Let's go get some cloud shoes, which I'm pretty sure we won't get immediately. We're going to probably have to trade something, as always, in this game. Careful. Ah! Oh. I told you to be careful. It's okay. It's just my whole livelihood is gone, is all. I'm sunk. Oh boy. Sorry. About what? About your knife. Oh, right. My knife. <laughs> so, what's your name? Carl. Carl? No. Carl. It's Carol, with some of the letters removed for reasons that are too stupid to repeat. Hey, can I ask you about those weird guys down there? Uh, my husband and son? Uh, what do they do this time? Oh, Christ. Is that all of them? You must be... I don't think those guys down there are working as hard as you are. Oh, I think they are, since I lost my knife. I think they're going to hurt somebody with those sticks. Oh, my husband would never do that. Harmony has rules against fighting here. You must be very proud. Honey, I'm just trying to survive this phase, honestly. I wish he had just had an affair like most middle-aged men instead of dragging us all up here. Wow. Is that all of them? Well, there's McGee, my teenager. Off with their head in the clouds somewhere. You know what I mean. Yeah. No. Harmony. Harmony Lightbeard? The supposed guru my husband followed up here. I think he's a nut, but I let my husband have his hobbies. Your husband is following a guru? He moved the whole family up here so we could study Harmony Lightbeard's philosophy of lightness. It's a midlife crisis thing. I'm just playing along. Okay, enough about your family. Oh, sorry. Was I going on about them again? You can't make hats without a knife? Hats? I make life-saving cloud shoes here. Or I did. Until you came along. You make shoes out of clouds? Uh, no. Shoes that keep you from sinking into clouds. They spread out your weight. Buoyancy is all about... Uh, Wait, I know this. Area? Pounds per square inch. Skinny little feet like yours shoot through clouds like chopsticks through whipped cream. Huh. Do you really eat whipped cream with chopsticks? Only when I'm feeling sad. Why don't you use your teeth? Shoes made of teeth? That's creepy. Well, I'll let you get back to your work. Ah, my work. All right, uh, 
Wait, no. Ooh, downy. Careful. Still got some bird mites on him. Ew. Down here. You'd think this would be the one place you could walk around barefoot. Yes, I would very much like some cloud shoes, please. Hey, can you make me a pair of cloud shoes? Well, I can't make anything without my knife. Well, I'll let you get back to your work. Ah, my work. All right. Uh, well, that's it for this area. Let's let's go find. I don't even know. Oh, Carol. That's that's her name, Carol. Let's find her some cloud shoes. Oh God. Oh God. Hi. Keep I'm moving. Mag mm. McGee. Keep moving. Those don't look like Jessie's. Better leave them alone. Wanna give me a lift? No? Oh god. Good birdie. Don't take this personally, bird, but I gotta get out of here. What's your name? <laughs> hey, what's up? <sighs> Nothing. What did you say your name was? McGee. It's Maggie, but without the A. My dad's idea. Don't you mind that your dad took the A out of your name? Well, yeah, but my dad said, Hey, losing an A is better than losing an I. <laughs> McGee. Mag. Your dad's pretty creepy. He wasn't before he joined this cult. Oh, whoops, did I say that too loud? Your dad's in a cult? Ah, uh, he's just taking this light bird worship a little too far. But it's okay. At least it got him out of his line dancing phase. What are you doing exactly? I'm taking care of these eggs. If it weren't for me, they'd, uh, get dusty or something. How do you get to the eggs in the high nests? Oh, because I'm so short, you mean? No, I... Uh... I'm just messing with you. I have a ladder. I need that ladder, actually. Hey, can I borrow your ladder? Mm, okay. Oh, really? Huh. Just like that's that? That's awfully small. Hey, short things can surprise you, okay? True. Yes, yeah, so let's just put it in our infinite pocket of nothingness. That's how things work. Hey, is there any way off this cloud? Think I'd be here if there were? We used to have a cool feather vader that went straight down to the forest below. But Harmony took it out. Why'd they take out the feather vader? Harmony decided that nobody had any reason to leave. Maybe I should just jump. Tried it, no good. Whoopsie birdie guards catch you and bring you back. What you need is a ladder. But it would have to be much taller than mine. Crap. Lightbeard's really serious about this lightness thing, isn't he? Oh, yeah. People say he only eats feathers. Ick. But it's not true. Good. He only licks them. Gah. Hey, what kind of bird lays those golden eggs? Oh, those? Those are egg substitutes. We make them for the older, senile gulls who forget they don't have eggs. Why are they made of gold? It's the heaviest stuff we have. We want them to be heavy, so the gulls can't carry them off and lose them. Hey, nice cloud shoes. Duh. My mom made them for me. All the other kids have cool name-brand cloud shoes, but I get homemade. Oh, but don't tell her I said that. The shoe thing is all she's got. Well, I'll leave you alone. <sighs> okay. Alright, so... Okay, um, we're not going there yet. We can't go there. Hey! A knife! I found it! I found a knife right over there. Fortunately, we can't use the ladder, because it seems like it's too tall. Those don't look like Jessie's. Better leave them alone. Hey, that's my knife. Good thing it didn't land on anybody. <laughs> Unfortunately, this is going to be too short. Oh, wait, never mind. Holy crap. Wow. It's my mom's special ceremonial knife. Well, we can give it to... Carol. That is very, very handy. It's extendable. It's my mom's special ceremonial knife. Let's stab. 
McGee with it. Wanna see my knife? What are you, my mother? She's always, check out my cloud shoe knife. Oh, I love it so much, I die without it. All right, well, let's go find Carol and give her my knife so she can make me some cloud shoes and I won't sink. Hello, Carol, let me give you... Oh. Hey, can you make me a pair of cloud shoes? Well, I can't make anything without my knife. Well, I'll let you get back to your work. Oh, my work. All right. Let's give it to her. Wait, no. I want to see what she says when I... No, 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 no. Let me give it the ladder. Um, her nest is a little low. Oh, sorry. Is my G-string showing again? <sighs> wow. Okay. Say! That's some knife. Good balance, nice heft. Ooh, and a blood gutter. No, that's for the filling. The less I know about the knife's history, the better. Here. Thanks. Uh, uh -huh. I know, they're big, but you'll grow into them. Trust me, you hit 40 and you're gonna be grateful for a pair of comfortable shoes like that. Oh, this is perfect. These things are so big, they won't even stay on my feet. Crap, damn it! Hey, think you could make me some cloud shoes that were more my size? Sure, come back in three weeks. Three weeks? Four, if someone makes me drop my knife again. Well, I'll let you get back to your work. Watch your step. Oh, perfect. Well, I knew it wouldn't be that easy. So, yeah, all right, let's go down. And we know. Man, I hope that's not a real bird. I don't like the way that one's looking at me. This is very, very creepy, and I don't like it. Hi. Hi. Wait. How's it hanging? <laughs> Good one. So, uh, how's the view up there? I don't know. All I can see is my mother's disappointed face. Ow. I really like your outfit. Yeah, I liked it too. Not good enough, though, apparently. And on top of that, the shoes were too tight. Did you say something about shoes? Yeah, why? You need some? Take these. I don't need any. Oh, these are perfect. I'm gonna sit here forever. What are you doing down here? I'm an offering for the Maiden's Feast. You can't tell? Jeez, it's worse than I thought. Oh. That's why she wasn't taken. Well, lucky for her. I was in a maiden's feast too. Just today, in fact. Oh, really? You didn't get picked either? Well, no, I got picked, but I put up a fight and got away. You... What? I just figured, why not fight the monster, you know? Yeah, right. You didn't get picked. That's okay. Pull up a swing and sulk with me, sister. Hmm. Kind of shabby looking for a maiden's feast. Hey, I can't help the way I look. No, I mean the broken bird cages and feathers. Oh, yeah. Well, that's because the feast is over. If the feast is over, what are you doing here? Rub it in, why don't you? I'm still here because I didn't get picked, okay? Look on the bright side. You didn't get eaten by a monster. I'd rather do that than face my family right now. Who am I kidding? They probably already jumped off a cloud in shame by now. I don't be so negative. I don't even know her name, actually. Christ. Need help? Uh, cleaning up? Why bother? Well, it's just kind of a mess down here. So am I. That's why I like it. Look, I think it's time we start fighting that monster. You're just going through that anger phase after not getting picked. That was me yesterday. Well, I'll leave you alone. Just like Mark Chathra did. I'm used to it. Well, I feel sad leaving you like this, so I'm gonna give you my shoes. Just my size. Oh, perfect. Actually, just wear them. Wear them. There we go. 
Now we won't sing. Let's give her her, her our shoes. See if that fits her. Maybe a nice pair of comfortable shoes would help. Don't need them. Nowhere to go. Oh my. All right, fine. Yeah, hey, look at this. I'm walking on the clouds without even falling. Ha! Huh. Eat it. Yeah, never mind. Well, oh well. Well, at least I won't be sinking. Just watch out for that hole. Alright, now we can actually, um... I could've used the ladder on that one bird, but I need to figure out some things first. Good birdie. What do you birds do for fun around here? Please place your offering into the bowls of enlightening. It's empty. Yes, that is why I said that thing about making an offering. Can I go up that ladder? Yes, after you place an offering in the bowl. Okay. Hi, are you? You may call me Fether. Oh, yes, excuse me, Father. No, Fether. Like a light, beautiful feather. But lighter. Harmony gave me that name. It's quite an honor. It's quite crap, if you ask me. Sorry to say that, but it's... I wouldn't pick a name like that. What are you guarding here? I make sure that Brother Lightbeard's time is not wasted. He's a busy man, you know. So, you're Mr. Lightbeard's heavy? Hey, there's no call for personal insults. Can I go up and see Mr. Lightbeard? All are welcome on Brother Lightbeard's cloud after they make an offering. How about the blood of a virgin or a heart? I can acquire that, but I'm gonna need my knife back. What kind of offering? It's not the object that matters, but the thought behind it. Huh, weird. Do you know where Gus went? He's got an egg I need. That one is struggling with the concept of lightness. He is yet to give up even a single letter in his name. He's worried people will think his name is Gas. I don't suppose there's a big ladder like this that goes down. Uh, last time I checked, most ladders go both directions. Can I just go up the ladder without making an offering? Brother Lightbeard gives you this opportunity to lighten your load for your benefit, not his. Uh-huh. I'll let you get back to work. Stay light. Mm-hmm. Well, let's give him... Sorry. I cannot handle the donations directly. Please use the bowls. I wonder if these are light offering. Harmony will be. Oh, pleased. what do you know? Well, I don't want to disappoint, so let's go up there right away. Fresh face rises from below. Before you ask, let me answer. Yes, you may live here in Marylock forever. Wait a minute, that's Jack Black. So I don't know if he's voicing the the computer in Shea story, and I mean this for sure is legitimately Jack Black. But I don't know if he was also the voice of the computer. Sound liked it, but he hardly voiced that. So this is awesome. Who are you? I am Harmony Lightbeard. The lifter of clouds. It's kind of fitting that he would play a character like this high up in the clouds, you know, that kind of a hippish pothead guy. So well done, Tim Schafer, well done. Can you help me kill Mog Chathra? Ah, what a thing to say. Did you just lay that? No, it fell out of my pile of. I mean, it must have been. Pay no attention to that. Actually, I just want to get off this cloud. Oh, I understand. You're quite mentally ill, aren't you? Have no fear, you've come to the right place. I really, really want to get off this cloud. Do you have any idea what would happen if people could just leave Maryloft whenever they felt like it? Mm -hmm. 
would come later. Marilops would become later? Hmm, hadn't thought of that. But now... I could go kill Mogchathra? What an offensive idea. No! Everyone would leave? What? No! People would become unenlightened. So because I care so much, we have the Whoop Suburdy Network to make escape. I mean, <clears throat> unenlightenment. Impossible. Hey, are you done with that golden egg? That's mine. I might need it someday. Uh, I mean, <clears throat> take it away. I need it like a blue jay needs a bowling ball. Oops! Heads up for there! Oh. <laughs> Why do you have laces and a big bow on your cloud? Oh, why, well, you see, I exude such a powerful aura of lightness, it's made these clouds hyperbuoyant. If I didn't lash them together, they'd fly away into the heavens. Why are you up here so high? I'm exactly as high up from Mariloft as Mariloft is from the forest below. To show that we're all equals. I don't get it. It'll start to make sense after a few weeks of meditation, my child. Any idea where Jesse's egg went? Ah, uh, losing objects is a natural step in the path to enlightenment. It's part of who we are in Mariloft. It's in our roots. Do not fear it. Thanks for the help. See you later. Be light, child. Oh, I can't stay up here for any additional content. Or for there. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, man. He's breathing. Better let him sleep. I want my shoes back. Mm. Yep, there we go. Light me. Mm. Oh, man, this thing is heavy. Good thing I have these cloud shoes on. All right, we're going to use with this, though. Mm. All right. Uh, okay, I want to try to see what happens. If, well, actually, I can't any, anyways. Oh, another way out. Hey, girl. Hey, hey, settle down. I'm going to find your missing egg for you, okay? Sorry, just passing through. All right, actually, I'm gonna... I'm gonna go where McGee is and go into that area that I didn't check out before, because there might be something important. Something that I haven't checked yet. Hello, McGee. What do I have? Hi. Hey, I found a golden egg. Whoa, careful where you put it. Those things are heavy. All right. Hey, welcome back. Whoa, what did my mom make those shoes for? An elephant? All right, let's go up here. I don't know what we'll find, but I see a golden egg that we could take. And it's mine. Yeah. <laughs> Those don't look like Jesse's. Better leave them alone. Those don't look like Jesse. Good birdie. Don't take this personally, bird, but I gotta get out of here. Okay, there's another egg I can see, but... Oh, shit, what? Hey, oi! Hey, knock it off! Those hooks are an important safety feature. Sheesh. That was rude. Uh-oh. It sinks without the hooks. Oh, shit. Jerk bird. This is all your fault. <laughs> well, that sucks. I'm just going to try it again. I know what's going to happen, but... Just for the hell of it. Hey, knock it off. All right. Uh, what if I give him this egg? Hey, anyone up there want a free egg? No? Hey, bird, you're a jerk. <laughs> All right. Looks like some kind of hatchery. Smells like one, too. Um, alright, there's nothing else I can do here. Nah, I don't want to lose them, even though they're too big for me. Well, there's nothing to do now, so now I have to go back to, uh, Jesse. You birds want to help me kill Mogchathra?
Well, this is cool. Wanna give me a lift? I've noticed that no? in Vela's story there's more dialogue than there was in Shay's. I mean, Shay's was just like point and click puzzle, sort of like. But this one is just like more dialogue and more... There's more of a narrative to Vela's story than there was in Shay's. To be honest. Yeah, I mean, I like Shay's story. It was really cool and very... I liked it, but... Yeah, I like them both, but, you know, I'm just saying, you know, Shay's is more of a puzzle, Vela's is more of a adventure type, obviously. But, I mean, what, what more can happen in space? Unless there's, like, a necromorph. Man, that sign really did not do this thing justice. Okay, so, don't step in there, because that's bad. We have to get to the tree. Can't reach that spot. Maybe I could find a low-hanging branch. Oh no! Alright. It's empty. <laughs> I hear the father. Can hear me? It's me, Gus! Ah, Gus, that's who we need to look for. I don't know where he is. I'm gonna not look in there yet. You're in big trouble, young man. Oh, man, don't tell Harmony, okay? He already has it in for me. What are you really doing down here? I was just chasing some fruit that fell off that tree and I hit a weak spot in the clouds. Why don't you just let go? I'm 85% sure someone would catch you. I'm stuck! I'm caught on this branch and I can't reach back that far! Why would Jesse's egg need cleaning anyway? Well, it, it didn't, but I needed the work credits to make up for some hygiene demerits I got last week. Mind if I just squeeze past you? Yeah, that's a good idea. Come over here so I can grab on. Uh, no way. No. Well, you hang in there, kid. My underwear is on this branch. Get over here and unhook it. Sorry, I'm not going anywhere near your underwear. Come here and h help me. No, I will not help you. And I'm guessing we can't reach that until he's free. Hey! Great! Now let me just climb <laughs> onto your shoulders. Quit it! <laughs> oh shit. And I thought I was clumsy. You dick! Let me guess, it's gonna throw us back with shit. Or not. Oh, this is perfect. Alright, no, I don't. Fuck. Shit. I'm guessing this leads back to the top tree. Yeah, it does. Or all the way to the top. Perfect. Nice. Or just right there. Never mind. Wait! Oh, wait. I used the ladder already. Shit. Damn it! Give me some fruit. Dang. Give me some fruit. Dang. All right. Um, what if I use this to catch it? Nah, I don't want to lose them, even though they're too big for me. Give me some fruit. Dang. Uh, hmm. Give me some fruit. Damn it. Dang. All right. Uh, I might stop in a while, but I just want to try to figure this one out. Well, oh, actually, why don't I just fall through here? Yeah, there we go. Or not. Never mind. I thought that would send me to, like, another direction, but it didn't. Or, maybe it will, actually. Now that I think about it, what if I... It's gonna throw me to another branch, I'm guessing. This day cannot Yay! I was right! There we go. Oh, oh shit. What, what the... ah! <laughs> oh, behavior, huh? Would you mind dropping me off at the arcade? Alright, perfect. Yeah, that's I knew that would happen. I'm guessing that if people were trying to avoid those as much as possible. And yeah. Well that's why you, this is a point and click. Interact with anything, and you never know what you might find. So now we can get Jesse's egg. Thank you. It's Jesse's egg. Better get this back to her. Alright, I'm just gonna give Jesse her egg back and then I will stop. 
And from there we will progress for some other reasons. Alright, okay, so this is actually going pretty well. I'm guessing if I was five years old, I wouldn't have never have gotten that. Alright, let's I just want to see what I don't think that will fool her. She is a mom after all. I don't think she'll find that an adequate replacement for her missing egg. Well, let's just give her her regular egg. Boy, is this thing heavy. Now, let me explain. I didn't take... Oh, hey, you're welcome. Wasn't anything, really. And... Yoink! I got two eggs. Oh man, this thing is heavy. Alright. So now that Jesse has her egg and we have two uh two eggs. I have no idea what to do after this, so oh shit. Fuck. Alright, but anyways, I'm gonna stop right here. We've made good progression so it's far. Extendable. And I'm gonna just save actually. Uh right here. Yes, please. Perfect. Alright. So I'm just gonna save, and yeah, well, um, we'll continue off later on, and yeah, we'll, I'm pretty sure we're gonna finish this game in the next part, actually, um, yeah, I'm going by through this surprisingly quickly, but anyways, yes, uh, see you guys around, and yeah, catch you later, have a good one.